There will be no herd immunity and mainstream corporate media helped. We will not leave this virus behind the way we canceled polio and smallpox. Doctors you've seen us interview here and other public health officials reckon that too many vaccine holdouts have mathematically prevented us from reaching COVID herd immunity. Way back when, Edward R. Murrow held a microphone to the ground in Trafalgar Square to record the sound of people calmly walking to bomb shelters during the Nazi Blitz. He told the world, this is London. Oh, no, it isn't, modern day talking heads might retort. See, but back then, if you heard something on the radio, you could believe it. These days, vaccine doubt is fueled by commentators, some discreetly vaccinated, some whose lives COVID eventually claimed. Even Donald Trump mangled the message, admitting that he's boosted to booze at a recent rally. Both the president and I are vaxxed, and uh, did you get the booster? Yes. I got it too. Okay, so... Um... Oh, don't, 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 no, no. When COVID-wary conservatives opine that, as far as I'm concerned, this pandemic is over, what listeners and viewers hear is, this pandemic is over. Meanwhile, we are witnessing the story of our lifetime, times two. On their own, either the pandemic or climate change would qualify, and we are enduring, and media are deserving both, as attention hungry overstatement blurs information and opinion. With battle lines so drawn, obstinacy is extreme. When 200 plus died and millions of other Texans froze during a storm that clobbered a state power grid so proudly detached from the national network, former governor and yes, energy secretary Rick Perry proclaimed, Texans would be without electricity for longer than three days to keep the federal government out of their business. The prevailing pivot on vaccination is, I got the jab, but not because I was told to, it was my choice. You see, as Omicron romps, the narrative has retreated to loathing mandates. Rather than talking about surviving COVID, we're talking about talking about COVID. First, do no harm, doctors are sworn and a Hippocratic oath for the media need not violate the First Amendment we otherwise abuse by amplifying nonsense. To quote Ed Murrow's sign-off, good night and good luck.